Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Thursday, January 13th, 2022. And we begin with a California school district offering up a timely twist to take your kids to work day. Instead of kids tagging along with moms and dads to get a taste of the working world, Palo Alto is prepping for Take Your Parents to School Day. Over 700 moms, dads, and guardians answered a recent call to step up and help keep schools running. Palo Alto is among the many districts around the country suffering from a shortage of teachers and support staff due to COVID. So volunteers are desperately needed to serve lunch, monitor hallways, and assist in the classroom. Substitute teachers are in particularly short supply. In upstate New York, administrators sent out pleas on Facebook for recent grads to come back and teach at their old schools. And at one Missouri elementary school last week, students got the surprise of their life when St. Louis Cardinal center fielder Harrison Bader showed up to teach P.E. There are plenty of oohs and ahs at the Tokyo Zoo as twin panda cubs make their public debut. Tiny, hairless, and pink when they were born back in June, little Zhao Zhao and his sister are now toddler-sized, sporting fluffy black and white fur and scrambling around on bamboo trees. Zookeepers in Japan are going to great lengths to protect the pair. Due to COVID, the zoo is limiting the exhibition to just three days, with a thousand lucky lottery winners passing through the panda quarters each day. But this is no leisurely visit. Only six people can enter at a time, and the group gets to watch the pandas for just one precious minute before being shuffled out. In order to prepare the panda pair for the commotion, zookeepers played a radio to desensitize them to the sounds of human voices. After a few years at the Tokyo Zoo, the cubs will eventually be moved to China to help with conservation efforts. She's no longer on thin ice. Erin Jackson, the top-ranked 500-meter speed skater in the world, is headed to the Winter Olympics, even though a slip during last week's trials left her in third place, just short of qualifying for Team USA. Credit goes to her teammate, Brittany Bowe, who finished first in that same trial, but gave up her spot so that Jackson could compete in Beijing. Bo had already secured a spot in two other skating events. Foregoing the third meant the two longtime friends could jet off to the games together. And as luck may have it, there's still a chance both will compete in the 500-meter race. According to the Associated Press, the U.S. may get another lane when final allocations are made later this month. Pass the kibble and make space on the couch. Super Bowl 56 is still a month away, but for viewers who prefer animals to athletes, we now know which pups will face off in this year's Puppy Bowl. Once again, it will be Team Rough versus Team Fluff taking the field as 115 adorable and adoptable pups scramble, flop, and roll around the turf. Like last year, the lineup also includes special needs pets looking for a forever home. Also on hand, Elmo and his dog Tango, who will handle the pregame coin toss, and a gray parrot named Meep the Bird to provide color commentary. If you're more of a cat person, tune in for the Possum Kitty Halftime Show. You can catch all the action on February 13th at 2 p.m. Eastern on Animal Planet or live stream it on Discovery+. Plus. In other Kid News notes, a true American hero will soon take her place on your local toy store shelf. Joining Mattel's line of inspiring women Barbie dolls is Ida B. Wells. Born into slavery in 1862, Wells became a journalist and was best known for exposing racism. She also co-founded the NAACP, a respected civil rights organization, and worked tirelessly for women's rights. It turns out even Adele is no match for the magical Madrigal family. The soundtrack from Disney's Encanto with songs by Lin-Manuel Miranda is number one on the Billboard 200 chart, knocking off Adele's album 30 after six weeks at the top. It's the first soundtrack to take the top spot since Frozen 2 peaked back in 2019. That's it for Kid News. Now, today's Kid News Quiz. St. Louis center fielder Harrison Bader answered the call to help out in his local school. What class did he teach? P.E. In what city zoo are two pandas making their limited public debut? Tokyo.
Name the two teams competing in this year's Puppy Bowl. Team Rough and Team Fluff. What civil rights leader will be immortalized as a Barbie doll? Ida B. Wells. In our Kid News Kicker, yesterday we told you about a new Oreo flavor. Today, it's the Girl Scouts' turn. The organization's long-awaited cookie season officially kicks off this week, and with it, a mouth-watering new variety. Adventurefuls are described as a brownie-inspired cookie with caramel-flavored cream and a hint of sea salt. Along with the new cookie is a new way to get your hands on your favorites. In addition to buying them in person or online, the organization will partner with DoorDash, giving cookie cravers one more way to get their fix. Before we go, a big Kid News shout-out for our terrific teachers and their students, Mrs. Moynihan's Thunderbirds at Round Rock Tech in Round Rock, Texas, Mrs. Schweizo's Chargers at Holy Apostle School in New Berlin, Wisconsin, Ms. Huff at Harborview Elementary in Juneau, Alaska, Mrs. Steiner at Clarkshaw Magnet School in Mobile, Alabama, and Mrs. Hamilton at Lincoln Cultural Center in Kankakee, Illinois. Thanks for listening. It really helps if you rate and review us wherever you get your podcasts, and we might use one of your comments in our emails or on our website. We hope you tune in for more Kid News tomorrow morning.